You alright this mate? It's had a shower. Fucking stinks of shit in here man. Bullshit. I smell the bullshit. Anyway, I've gone all day today with, I don't smoke really, it's a choice, it's a, well, it's, it's a, well, I just like it. So, that's happened, and then today I've sat, and, uh, anyway, I've got some cigarettes, I said, can I possibly have them at 16 minutes past eight? No. I said, I haven't had a cigarette all day, you know, I haven't, I said, I've had a death cough all day, all day. No, you can't. You have to wait until 10 o'clock now. No, you've missed time. It's past your time. Oh, so we stick to those rules. Get that marked down. Obviously, there's no CCTV and nobody knows anything that's going on. So that's that. And, um... You know, I'm deep as the ocean and as, as wide as the universe. I don't tell people things. Uh, I, I told my teenager when uh, Dora, like, not to do that. She went and moved in and thought she was a gangster and moved in with her auntie Mandy and then she moved into Mary Bell's. I mean, really, even her own fucking father wouldn't have done that and he was a rat. Mm. He wouldn't have even lived there. Nobody lives there. It's a whole... She's got nits. Burnt all her crown here. She did. Uh, with bleach. Bleached her hair and burnt her crown. Stole her. Well, anyway. So that happened, and um, then, we cut a long story short, we started speaking again after she had her, sec her first child. After my ex-husband made me go on holiday the week she was due, and I missed the birth. Thanks, my love. That set Laura away even more. You just did it on purpose. Not really. He did, though. You all did. You set it up. Everybody set me up. It's easier to ask who's not involved in my hate crime. That's why I've... Shaman's told me in Peru. <laughs> so, um, I did that. And then when, uh, she used to go on and on about it. Oh, woe is me. Boo and Laura. Laura this, Laura that. Me, myself. Me, 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 me. Oh, everybody's a book and say. Yes, I understand your pain. I know. Yes, you. I know you've been raped, darling. Yes, I mean, But if you hadn't moved out of home, you wouldn't have got raped, would you? If you'd stayed in my protection instead of being 14 year old delinquent and deliberately put yourself in danger. I told you that would happen. You don't even understand. You've never been raped. Um, actually, I have. I understand what you're saying. I have been raped before. Don't you haven't? When did you get raped? I don't know you've been raped. Well, no, because it's not something I talk about. You're just making that up. So who raped you? Well, it's nothing to do with you. I'm not talking about it. I'm just saying I'm your mother. You should show respect to your mothers, whether you agree with us or not. Sometimes we're elders and we're wiser. Like a bad wiser. So, she's gone on and on about, and woe is me and my life this, and it's not fair, and I've had a shit mother, and I wish my mother was better than this. You're terrible, you drink, you do this, you do that. Hold on a minute. Okay. Why was I drinking? Because you lot have been doing what you've been doing. Wait until it's three, three, three on the rock. <sighs> What's this one? Ah, you see, there we go. The star. See that? I used to say to them as well oh, when I used to be, I was on the ticky tocky. <laughs> You're always on that ticky tocky. Yeah, I yeah, know. Just wasting my life. Star and justice. Straight two cars, first two up. You've just watched me, I'm not doing anything. So, this motherfucker. You know, it's not like you think, don't you? Wasting your life. Yes, Laura, I, I am on TikTok. It's, just, it's art therapy, it makes me feel good. I just like adding pictures and stuff. Anyway, I like it. You're getting scammed. You know, it's a con in there. Well, I'm just on TikTok. Should I not give my details? No, mother. You don't even know what you're doing. You've got no idea about information technology. No, I haven't. I don't know what I'm doing, me. I'm fucking crazy for what me. I'm insane, I know. I'm fucking insane listening to you lot fucking lying to me every fucking day of my life for the last fucking 40 fucking years. Do you know how much restraint it takes to not say anything to a liar? What did you say? Okay. I remember that. And now you're sorry. And you think that I don't know and you want to come in and say sorry. I've always known. 
Ace of Wands, look at that. Look at that, looks like one of your big cocks. Do you stick that with your dildo? Do you stick that with your ass? Do you think you need a butt plug after sticking that up? <laughs> I know about the sex trade, yes. I do know what OnlyFans is, yes. I do. I know about breast implants as well, Laura. This is why I wouldn't support you getting your tits done and you bust it. Why? Because there's 45,000 people over in France suing the French government because their fucking tits fucking leaked all over and now all these women are dying of cancer. I know, I'm helping society. I know what that means. I wasn't being selfish. I've never been selfish in my life. And I haven't given myself away. The only person who's suffered is me, the Empress. Look at that. I sacrificed my life for you lot. And I'm not fucking doing it again. You're not coming back to say sorry. You're not getting any fucking money. And I don't want anything to fucking do with you. Sacred clown. Tears of a fucking clown. You don't know what... Just me. I choose not to bleed all over people. On purpose. It's a choice. Now, it's a choice to either to heal or to feel or to just carry on living in your delusion and grandeur of a lie. Queen of Pentacles, that'd be me with the money, honey. That's my fucking money. Now, I've lived with everybody in my past life who think they're going to come back and say sorry, but I know what you've done. I know who all of you are. King of Wands. He might whip you with his wand. <laughs> Seven of Cups. <laughs> so... I know what you've done. I watched you when you said that I needed to go and make more money. I said to you when I'm on TikTok. I said, I'm anyway. I said, I'm going to just get a fucking Range Rover and to deliver to the door with a pink ball on it. You're delusional. You're fucking insane. How? How am I insane? That might happen. <laughs> How do you know? Because, mother, I'm telling you, you're an idiot. She says you've got to fuck. I mean, you're not even making any money. You're just sitting on your fucking fat ass, just watching fucking Columbo all fucking day. You've been there for eight hours. I know. Because I, if I get off this chair, I might launch myself and actually throttle you to the floor by your fucking goddamn neck, rip your fucking throat out. I think you've got an Adam's apple, you're a fucking beast. And I might eat the flesh off your bones. So I'm just sitting here enjoying this day off that when I work 70 hours a week, having to deal with minions and maggots and paedophiles and people lying to my face every day for 40 years. I'm lying here watching Colombo. Stones, yes. Yes, that's correct, I was. Why? Because I'm going to get up. If I don't suppress my... <laughs> myself with self-medicating with alcohol and drink i might actually get up and fucking kill all of you fuckers so i i'm just yes what are you doing now mother i'm sitting outside so you've gone from the fucking couch just to the fucking outside yes i'm talking to my moon man he likes me justice you're fucking nuts you've been sitting there now three hours outside just sitting, smoking with coffee, looking and talking to the fucking moon. <laughs> Do you know how fucking insane you are? Well, what have you been doing all weekend? What's my weekend on? So I've just sat here in the house, eat, ate, in ate myself. <laughs> and got stoned and talked to the moon. Yes, that's, that's, that is what I've been doing all weekend. Yes, that's great. Well, I've been down to London, I've been there. I know what you've been doing with the Arabs. But I chose to just sit and talk to the moon man by myself. I don't want to go out. I haven't been out. You haven't been out. She said to me once that I needed... She actually said to me, she says, you know what your fucking problem is, mother? What's my problem now? Please tell me what my problem is, seeing as you're such a fucking master, fucking occult know-all and be-all and wannabe. What is my problem now? I haven't been fucked and I need a good dick. I need a good fucking. Is that what you're saying? Did, what did you... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Laura, what did you say? That I need some dick and I need a good fucking and then I might not be so moody. I... I can understand what you're saying. I, 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 yeah, I heard what you said. I'm not ignoring you, I just don't want to fucking speak to you. 
I'm not a bitch. You're a fucking bitch. Nothing, I'm just talking to myself in the kitchen while I make some dinner. Why are you banging all the time, mother? I'm sick of you. What is the matter with you today, mother? Nothing, I'm just a little bit. It's my, it's my um, mental health, I think. It's just my mental health. I'm just in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just going, I was living with her. She used to call us. Mom, what are you doing in the kitchen? Nothing. Just getting something to eat. 44. <laughs> Which is war and violence or success. I'm not reading all of them for you. I can't be bothered. She then says, what are you eating? Nothing. I'm just making a wrap. What kind of wrap are you eating? We haven't even got anything to put in the wrap. You haven't even been proper shopping. I've been shopping for what I need. And I've got the nice, it's nice. You've had your tea, haven't you? So you're okay. You, you, I've got your snacks, chicken, and you're all sorted. And you had your friends in your room and you've got everything you need, yeah? So I'm having what I want. What is it? Can I have some? You won't like what I'm eating. A wrap, tortilla wrap. I used to get it and put chocolate spread all over it. And then put some Himalayan, crisp, not crystal salt, Himalayan fucking rock salt, pink rock salt all over. She called me in the fucking kitchen, the teenager. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I was giving nothing. Nothing, why? I'm just eating a wrap. It's a wrap, it's done. I'm eating this wrap. I love it. It's nice. It fucking satisfies my taste. So I used to rock up. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually fucking eating that, Mum. You are insane. I've never... Chocolate spread with pink Himalayan salt in a wrap. Yeah. It's kind of the, the uh, Mexican chili with chocolate idea. And Himalayan salt from the Himalayas. It's this is kind of past life thing. I like these things. You are. I'm going upstairs. I can't even talk to you, Mum. You're absolutely crazy. You've lost it. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm just fucking hungry. I've got no food because you fucking robbed me of my fucking money, you fucking bitches. <sighs> when in Rome, is the Roman ship. <laughs> These fuckers. How are you going? I could tell you stories about like your fucking skin for that. 27. That's the age I got for married. Oh, God. I got married at 2 o'clock and I knew at 5 o'clock that you are kidding me. This is a fucking karmic relationship because I just all of a sudden the fucking rose to the acid. I was in love with the idea of being in love. I wasn't in love with. Please. So at 5 o'clock I knew. And then I decided to stay for the uh, children. So nice like that. You're welcome, by the way, kids. You'll remember me. Slavery and bondage. You bondage. You tied up against that fucking radiator again. I went into Laura's, Laura's ass one day. Sat up against... Don't sit up against... What the fuck? Who have you done this radiator? Get off the radiator! Well, I didn't know. I was going to nearly fall off the fucking wall. Why is the... It's a brand new fucking house. She got a brand new house. She didn't have a life like I had when I had my fucking first kid. Fucking hell. Why is the radiator falling off the wall, Laura? It's a brand new fucking house. You've only been in here for the year or something. Well, because Mr. Brown came round last night. Mr. Who? Mr. Brown? Oh, James. Oh, we don't call him James because you got raped somebody by just one person you got raped by called James. So you don't like to talk about that? Okay, well, I'll mention the name, James. So you call him Mr. Brown? Oh, Mr. Brown. Dressing up in outfits like a school girl. And Mr. Brown came round and he did what? Tied you up against the radiator because he's a master rumpist, a cultist. And he lives where? Sunderland. I know exactly where that is. That's right next to the nunnery where I used to work. That's an expensive part of Sunderland. I know Sunderland. You know, I know Sunderland. You don't know anything, Mother. You're just fucking... I said, wow, I wish I... Uh, I've never submitted to a man like that in my whole entire life. You... 
wow, I wish I was that. Uh, I wish I could do that. That'd be a great thing to do, wouldn't it? I'm not really into me genuinely like fucking sex. You want to have sex? I don't think I was five years by then. You want to have sex? That's what I'm saying. You need a fucking good dick and a fuck. I've been fucked all my life. I don't really want to be fucked. Thanks, so I'll just keep eating um, wraps with chocolate spread and keep getting fatter. I'm enjoying my life. Motivation, extreme opposites or opposites, opposite, opposing fractures. Did you cut your foot off? Did you cut your glass? You, 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 you hurt your foot on glass. Walking on, walking on broken glass. Oh, baby. It's really sad, isn't it? Oh, mommy, did you kiss it better for you? Rebellion 33. Submission to a higher order. Not submission to a devil who's called Mr. Brown tying you up against the radiator, darling. But I'm allowed to. You're the crazy one. Yes, that, that would be correct, yes. Don't worry about me. Number seven. I used to live at seven people's I'm in a seven bedroom now. Seven, eleven, 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 seven. Patience and laziness. Look at that lazy. It's like a lazy big slop. I wouldn't get out of bed for a ten of me work in a care home during COVID. Why don't you just fucking leave? And get why don't you do what I do? I'm not doing what you do. I'm just telling you I've had a really fucking shit day. I got hit three times in the fucking face. I've fucking had to fucking run around like a fucking blue ass fly with a fucking broom on my fucking ass and fucking fanning with people with my fucking eyelashes. Or while being fucking abused and they're all talking behind my back and thinking I don't know what's going on. I've just had a tough day. I'm just telling you. Why are you so fucking aggressive? Why don't you just leave? Leave work and do what? Who's gonna pay the fucking goddamn bills, you fucking bitch? For a tenner an hour, I wouldn't get out of bed for a tenner an hour. Well, I'm aware of that because you lie on your back to make your money, darling. Yes, I can see that you wouldn't do that, darling. I know you've got Balenciaga shoes and I'm running around looking like fucking Columbo, but that's because that's my money and my house and my stuff. I'm letting you have the power. And the glory. I'm wanting to see what you do with it. So if you can come with me to have the real money. Because you, you don't know what real money is, darling. You're what my grandmother, my grandmother Lillian, would have called new money. All fur coat and no fucking goddamn knickers. I'm just saying. <sighs> the adored God. <laughs> so... These are just little conversations and flick bits of my fucking life. And it's like, really? So you wouldn't get out of bed for a tenner? No. Well, why? Well, you think I should do what? I'm not going to go on to OnlyFans, Laura, to make cheap fucking money. I'm not going to do it. I'm never going to do that. I'd rather live in a tent with, and eat dried fucking hot noodles than do that. I'm not doing that. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going to keep working in the care home during COVID because I'm kind of busy there. I'm needed. Why? Well, because it's COVID, and if I had a grandmother, I would hope somebody like me would be looking after, because it's a goddamn shit show in those girls. You don't know what goes on in the girls, Laura. You don't even understand girls. So you're basically wiping people's fucking shit for a job. Well, yes, because I'm a shit shifter. That's my job. That's what I do. Deal with the shit. I think I need to clean the house. It's fucking stinks of shit in here, doesn't it? I, yeah, I, I haven't cleaned the house for three months. No, I haven't deliberately, actually. Just a fucking trigger you when I kiss you and left. Maybe something talk about when I left, though, didn't it? <laughs> it's called ammunition. And you've hung yourself. Fell for the bait. I'm not a dirty person. I've never been a dirty person. That's Cassandra. When I was a teenager and had you, Laura, uh, you couldn't move anything. I used to have uh, a child. I was a child having a child. But I've always kept integrity and morals, darling. Even in my madness, there was a method. Fire in the hole. I used to go raving. I only was a raver for three years, really. I don't. You don't need to be a gangster for very long to work out what's going on there. Uh, many paths. And um, I learned my best psychology where? In the chill-out rooms, in the rave room. Best place. I've always worked it. I've never had a day off for 33 years. That's why I'm here now doing this. I'm listening to somebody say today, oh, I'm really tired, I need a couple of days off. Or da, da, da. I'm thinking, <laughs> really? I wish I had a fucking day off. Right there. <laughs> oh, you Cornish pasty in me. <laughs> I don't ever have time off. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm going to sleep. I'm a cat, we don't sleep. The beloved of my father's heart. Look at that. And the apple of my father's eye. <laughs> 
So yes, I did work for ten pound in a care home, and I did used to go to the raves and be in the chill out rooms. Yeah, just for three years. Well, I think I had five years of craziness altogether, but that was it. And then I've worked solidly and, and had a whole life and a career and brought children up and done all sorts of things. I have qualifications coming out of my ears, actually. Everything mind, body and spirit, actually, I do. I did have certificates until they robbed me of my life. I've been on a journey, you see. I used to have a picture like that right above my um, dining room table where everybody used to eat at the wise hour, watching over the dinner table. From B and M's, cheap, but it was nice. Everyone commented on it. It's a lovely picture, cat. I know, got a good eye, me. Beloved, you see, my father loves me because why? Because I will do anything for my father. Like today, I do. I've come across again. They they, they think there's method. There's always method in my madness. I'm not mad, and they're trying to write reports now, saying, oh yeah, she lost it today. They're faking it, but I have an IT guy who's recording what you're doing anyway. And the heart of this guy. And, um, I didn't have a psychotic out outburst today. What I did was stand up and I just basically, because the demons are kicking off, the Fulton people are kicking off, they're ostracising me, they're not sitting with me, the one can't, the one who's meant to be my friend's not my friend anymore because she's fucking shit, oh my god. Yeah. So now I know everyone in here is all fucking in on it, and that's again really nice. I knew anyway, don't worry about it. I don't have friends or family. This is why. Because every time I make friends, they, um, this psychopathic, psychotic killer who does anything for fucking money it ruins everything I ever have. That's why I don't mention people or talk about people. But I do have one, in 13 years, I'm going to give him a shout out today because he is an angel as well and he sort of said it today. Now, I'm like him and I don't really say we don't talk about that. It's like, what are you on about? Really? Okay, whatever. I've got fucking time, I'm trying to be busy, I'm thunder. Busy, I'm thundercat. I've got fucking shit to do, man. You want, you want to be all this. I don't even know, just shut the fuck up. Labels. I hate labels, they get on my nerves. If <coughs> oh, it's a death cough. It's not me, it's grief. Not for me. Oh, I'm holding a lot of shit in here. Ah. So, uh, sorry, excuse me about that. It's, 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 the city's gonna blow. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, labels. I hate labels. Because labels bring expectation. Oh, I'm a healer. Oh, I'm a tarot card reader. Then you've got an expectation you expect me to do something. No, I'm a shit shifter. I deal with the shit of society. The shit of society. The rats. <clears throat> you see, it's gonna. That there's gonna be a lot of um, changes coming. I'm not saying what because I know what. I knew in 2011 when I went to France. <clears throat> It's sick, and it's not very nice, and people think, they're frightened to tell me because they think I'm going to get angry. Uh, this, is, uh, this is easy for me now. This is toast, by the way. Cold, with cheap fucking butter on. I like Lerbap, but when you, you can't, no choice, you, you'll have to learn this. Beggars can't be choosers. Am I a white man great leader? Because <laughs> I've been the beggar. <laughs> well, I wasn't really, that's why I don't beg. I've never begged for anything in my fucking goddamn life. No, I haven't. I don't beg for anything. I, I, if I ask you for something, it's a test from God to say, are you going to give me some? Are you? And what's your intention? Now I know all your intentions. You want a cigarette? You should never have smoked with me. Bad move. Especially if you share them. Why? Well, because when I inhale... <laughs> You have no idea what you're doing. Any of you. So that's it, really. Oh, I was going to say about my, um, I have a brother online who does tarot cards and readings. And, uh, out of everyone in 13 years being online, nobody has actually stuck up for me and stood out publicly and done what he's done because... You get attacked. 
you have to be an earth angel and be of a standing of a royal lineage to be able to match and cope with the demonology that and the attacks that you get otherwise they're easy swayed straight back on there and <laughs> you would be well that's what happens it's a test really from the light and the dark side you do know god owns everything demons and angels angels and demons Do you think God's just some sort of pretty nice thing that sits on a chair and says, mm. <laughs> God is a savage. Because why? Well, do you know anything about, say, military training here on, on Earth? So, when you join, say, the army, I'm in the UK, so you would be in the army and you would sign up and then we go and do six weeks training in Catholic. Yeah? Which is just a training ground to give you your training. And then you would, like, years and months would go on, you'd go to a war, da 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 da. And then you've got to go up the ranks. You cannot just join, say, the army in. This, just go with this, because this is what God's army, I mean, God's army. Do you understand what that means? So, I haven't just joined the army of God and decided one day, I'm going to wake up and look at me, I'm doing card reading. I'm a warrior, spiritual gang star, three pack, father, son, holy ghost, I'm the holy ghost. So, I've been trained since birth spiritually armoured military you become a private then you would progress up the ranks to you know a chief and a sergeant and a chief and all these other different levels that you can go ranking up and you get different stars or whatever he badges you i don't know i haven't got a badge <laughs> so you would do this i do have my wings but i don't have to them off actually they are. i have my wings and I got this of my father. Anyway, so you can't just join the army and two years later you're an SAS champion diver and going, or an SAS guy jumping down the side of the Houses of Parliament. So I know you want to be me. And that's a very good idea. And I've, I've let you be me, all of you. There's a lot of you being me. I've watched you all. I'm like, not another fucker. Here we go again. Carry on. So you're wanting to, you're wannabes, wallabies. So that's great. What, 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 what's your qualification? How did you decide you were going to do this? Because you're entitled and you've got the right surname, or you thought you would steal a surname, and you're and now you're so you think you can just be me. You fucked that up really royally, haven't you? Royal fuck up. You are royal, yes, a royal fuck up, all of you. Well done. And you think I'm not capable of controlling the money because she's got mental health issues? She'll never be able to fly to America because she's so mental. She's mentally fucking ill. Okay. <laughs> So, how do you think I've become so good at doing this? Anybody? I'm not just a car tree. I do a lot. I'm very busy. <laughs> These are just little things I do to keep you entertained. So, please. You can't just decide one day that because you want to, you're just going to become the SAS boss. I know I look like a bit of a freak. I need to work on my body. We all know when you stop healing, you're fucking dead. For fuck's sake, stop judging. No, I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. This is what we all need to just stop. You were all on a journey. When the journey ends, you're dead. 
So should we just look at it like that from now on? I'm only halfway through my life, say, if I say live to 100, maybe. So if I'm saying 50, that's another 50 years, that's, that's, that's only halfway. So I've spent half of my life down under. And now I'm going to spend the other half upstairs. I've been Cinderella, and now I'm going to be the head of the house. <laughs> I wanted to do it that way. Why would I come down and have a glory first and then have to go and get the guts? That's not a very good way to do things. No way. Because you can feel you're not going to lose something now. Because you were the chief. Oh, look at me. I'm the best. I'm the boss. I'm the boss of me. I'm the boss. And you now got addicts. You're addicted to things. You're addicted to materialism, you're addicted to sex, you're addicted to drinking alcohol, you're addicted to your life. And you're frightened of what? Illuminati said it to me. What are you frightened of? Care? Nothing. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are. Everyone's got a fear, Cat. What's your fear? What's your greatest fear? Nothing. The fear that I'll get stuck up here forever and have to stay in the northeast of England with a bunch of other vampires who are fucking horrible. That's quite a fear. Uh, please send something, do something. Please, Father, send somebody. Who summons me? Don't let me, actually. Uh, I did call you. Send in the fucking worst. The worst of the best. Best of the worst. So I did. I need a good opponent. And you lot are fucking ass. You are the worst of the worst. People can't believe it. The actual real tower readers are reading it going, well, Who are these people? They're the worst. They're the worst souls, and they were the ones that were given a last chance saloon. If you can't do it and do it this lifetime, then that's it. After me is grim. There's no going back. No, no phone a friend, no 50-50, no nothing. Sorry about that. You had my love when I was there, now you didn't want it. You wanted me dead, so I'm dead. And now you're trying to do silly little juvenile nursery class manipulation games with me. One minute past eight and I can't have a cigarette. No, it's past the time. Cigarettes, it's over. I knew you were going to say that's why I left it just one minute past. I wanted to, I was testing you. <laughs> Can I have a cigarette, please? No, you, it's, it's, it's past time. It's past time. 16. I said, well, what's the time like? I knew what the time was. I've got, my, I've got a fucking iPhone. And they'll always know what time it is. I don't know what time it is anyway. You don't know what time it is. Do you know what level you're on? No. So what time is it? It's 16 minutes past eight, and uh, you're only allowed a cigarette from uh, eight to quarter past. So no, you have to wait till ten. Uh, are, you, are you agreeing with this? One, two, three, four, four of them. So you're, that's what you're saying to me now. I'm not allowed a cigarette because it's past time. Okay. No problem. I'll wait. Uh, you know I haven't had a cigarette since, since yesterday. Now, if I was an addict, I would be climbing the walls by now. If I was psychotic, I'd be... That would trigger warning, reactive abuse and power tripping. You're just a fucking sports system in a fucking care system in a fucking goddamn fucking shithole. And you're telling me it's one minute past six and I can't have a cigarette. Wow. You really fucked up. So no problem, because what I find really amusing with that is, the reason I say that is, for anyone who's following this crazy story, Judge, is they can't follow their own rules in here. They don't listen to my word, because I outrank all of them. I'm spiritually outranking all of them. I have spiritual authority over you. Um... I don't mind. Carry on. No, I don't mind. We're doing a good job here. That's another one. Two doctors come in today. I've recorded it. You know what I said? I said what I fucking said. I said you're questioning my spiritual authority again. Really? I'm not listening. No. Bye. I left. I don't have to listen to you. I outrank you. I've got... And then... That's all I said. These people don't know me. I've never seen those two doctors in my fucking goddamn life. And now all of a sudden I'm on a section three. Please. Is that how you deal with things in this system? You, that's your assessment for a mental health person. 
when you know who I am, you just after money. All of this for the love of money. All of this for money. Wow. I mean, you can't make it up. I'm just doing it to prove a point now. I'm waiting for my guy coming in to tell me what uh, all these details are of the miners that you've been doing by my back. Oh no, how awful. I hope I don't die. Mm, what a bitch. I know you're all bitches. Everybody is. Every person I've ever met in here in my whole life, in Earth, in the dome. <laughs> What would surprise me is if I found out somebody had actually done some good. Which I know some people have, but to my face, I mean, nobody can come to my face. Why? Because you're scared of me. Why? Because you know I outrank you, you know I tell the truth, and you have all got something to hide. I'm not hiding anything. What have I got to lose? Nothing. What have you got to lose? Your pride, your dignity, and you're embarrassed because you've been fucking and killing children. Bitch. Yeah, you have. You're madam. In the sex industry. And, um, well, not just you, Dora, daughter. I mean, loads of other people. I'm talking to the masses. Not just the sheep. I'm helping giving information. You don't know who watches my channel. Do you think you're the only one who's watching my channel? Because you've got my numbers crunched on fucking YouTube. Do you think you're that important? Man from China. <laughs> One of my non-people, not my people, gave a reading and said, um, we're never going to catch the um, the China one, the Chinaman from China, who's doing the uh, cyber stuff. It's impossible, is it? It's not. I've got, got you all. That's why I'm the boss. And you can't do my job. You don't know why I do that. So you'll come, isn't it? When you just splurge all over me. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm going to sit. I know because I've been in hell. You know where I've been. So. You can't be me. For one simple reason. You can't actually tell the truth. It's rare to be this honest and open as I am. Even the honest people are like, did she just say that out loud? I can't believe she's in there. Quote cat. Yeah, because I'm allowed to, because that's my job. You couldn't get away with this. Do you know, since 1776, nobody ever has taken on the Illuminati and got away with it. Why? That's why they're all confused. Why is she not dead? How come I'm not? I mean, Jay Z's having a complete meltdown. The, the black man's turned white. Haven't you, Jay? How is she? Okay. Mm. Not very nice, is it? Oh, I don't mind you get over it. So do your wife and children. Get over it. Get over it. For your fame and fortune. <laughs> you just get an orange suit and you run down. How's Miss Spears anyway? Is she doing alright? I've known her for ages. She used to be on the Instagrams, didn't she? I'm not on Instagram really. It just, just automatically, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's basic technology. I'm too advanced for it. But what it does is from Facebook, I've somehow managed to get it. So it's always been posting on my Instagram, which I don't have many people on my ARG 33 page. It's just. I deleted it, I blocked everybody because they were getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> yeah, I can't be bothered. But I'm bored of it for 13 years of doing it now. I and mean, it's done, really. I've just come in for a little chit-chat to give you a snippet of what fuckery I have to put up with every day. So today I've um, been ostracised again, played, and uh, people still think I don't know. Just me. Colombo. Do you know who Colombo is? Not Cumberland. <laughs> Sausage. That's what you're playing with. Colombo, the detective, is, is, he looks a little bit. <laughs> and he, um, smokes a cigar and, uh, can I have a coffee? Can I have a coffee? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Cigar? Oh, I do cigarettes because I'm a lady. And I've worked everything out probably within the first three to maybe 20 minutes if it's a, if it's a heavy lot of energy. It's about 20 minutes in the year. Poof, it's heavy in the year. 
So I've sorted that, and then the rest of the time I'm. Do you want a cigarette? How about you, coffee? I'm a tea lady. What do you want? Do you want some tea? Oh, me a coffee? I'm making me have a moment. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Okay. Don't worry, mummy. I'm just going to sit here. Somebody stole my position in the queue today. Then they try to take the chair that I always sit on. I was sitting there. Okay, I'll have a go on then, but I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> That's not a problem. No problem. I don't mind. You're going to mind. You're going to mind. A lot. And no, I'm not coming back to anyone. No, I don't want to speak to anyone. I know. I have put my order in. And I'm just going to get my documents. Somebody's going to come and tell me the truth. Who's actually got fucking balls. Who's probably been working as hard as what I fucking have. And, um, that's it. End of. I don't care. No, I don't. Because I've been fucked all my life. Not just wrapped once. Wait till you find out what they've done to me and then you'll be like... How is she even alive? Because I'm a warrior. An SAS deep sea diver and a space cowboy. <sighs> I do a lot of things. I'm a jacket all day, that's what I'm done. So please stop judging and assuming that you know who I am because you have absolutely zero point. You know nothing about me. Nothing. Nothing. And if you think you've worked me out, then you're going to give yourself a goddamn headache because I can't even work myself out. I'm that complex. <laughs> okay? So that will be nice, wouldn't it? If you could just get in your own lane, shut your fucking mouth. It's too late now, anyway. But just try to shh sh 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 while we wrap up and get ready for your surprises. Light and dark forces. Okay? I'm on holiday, which I have been for a long time now, but I do. I'm not really on holiday. Never been on holiday in my life. <laughs> but I am now. Because I'm not going to do anything. I'm not speaking to these people. The, the, most of them are going home tomorrow. What they're doing now is they're sending a whole load of other people in to try and manipulate, cut me off from cigarettes, cut me off from everyone, and ostracise me. So I've got nobody to talk to. <coughs> <coughs> Death cough. See, that's just appeared. I've noticed. <coughs> it's been there for a while. Since yesterday. It's like a... I can feel your grief. I know you're all very furious and mad, angry and actually scared. I will be too, yeah, because I know where you're going, because I've been there. You watched me be there. You did it. But you had a nice Christmas, yeah? Got everything you wanted. <coughs> Good. Don't worry about me, I was at Washington Court working on Christmas with homeless, helping homeless actually. So I wanted to do that. My father said, Don't worry, I'm going to send you one day. It's not quite why I had in mind. I was just going to work in a soup kitchen. He says, Well, do you, how do, how do you learn to work with the homeless best? Become fucking homeless. He says, It's the best experience you can get. So I now have empathy for homeless people because I was really homeless. She's harmless. Shit, it was part of my training for my uh, occult darkness certificate of my master 33.3 of uh, demonology. I passed. Got my certificate yesterday. I might make myself a nice little certificate in the craft room to go with my buffalo badge and my dad and cat badge. Isn't it beautiful? So that, I might do that. Let's see if I can be bothered to mix with the minions. I might not. I might just lock myself in my room and then they'll say I'm crazy. We need to give her an injection. Because that's what they're going to try and do now is give me an injection and trigger me to, to respond with anger and hate. I'm not doing it. I was just doing a bit of a... I had to stand up today and tell them that. I said, sorry, Dad, I'm going to do this. I'll stand up for you. Nobody else fucking will. There was a godly woman there. There's this woman there. There's a carer's there. Not one fucking person stood up and said, Catherine, is actually, we know who you are. Because you're all cowards. Frightened to lose your job. A job. I'm fucking Job. And you're insulting my fucking goddamn intelligence now at this level of the game. I will not tolerate being disrespected. And you're going to now know and understand because the A team behind me is going to come forward. Grins up. I'm off. I am actually on holiday now. I'm having some time off. So I'm just going to have showers and eat. Mm. And get bigger. 
and enjoy myself. Whether you think that's crazy or not, I don't actually give a shit, because you know I'm not crazy. Why would A thief does not break into an empty house. So why are so many people hating on me and trying to kill me? Maybe you should think about that. And I'm triggering you because I'm the mirror to help the Great Awakening to make everybody wake up. Oh, it's my job to be hated. I don't mind. Are so you a bit paranoid, Kat? That nobody hates you. I can see you two. It's okay. I'm used to it. It's my normal. Don't worry about it. I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to do a job for my father. That's what I've come for. I'll come in peace, I'll leave in peace, and then I'll just go back up home. I'm not going to bother. So I'm going to go and have a cigarette. 45 on the crock. Do you like my hair? Seeing all the different colours in it. It's turning really good now. Look at the roots. Oh, aren't they good? Look at this. Oh, no, I can't do this on camera. I'm not ready. Look at me. I've got to look beautiful. Do you not think I look beautiful like this? I look like fucking Einstein. I'm in a mental hospital like Einstein. <laughs> MC equals square. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Off you go, then. See you later. Have a nice night. Mwah.